okay guys this video is going to teach you how you can uh, fund your trust wallet app for your registration all the way from your nigerian bank account or any bank account in any country because luno is almost in every country so they have uh, their website in all in almost all the countries so this is for those living outside also and those in nigeria so i'm going to teach you how you can do that so let's quickly go and download luno app that is the website there are other websites that do, does this but i prefer using luno most times so i go to my play store i'm entering my play store now i go to search where i see search on top i just put luno luno then you see luno buy bitcoin etc and cryptocurrency and i click on that one this is it so i have already installed the app but if i have not installed the app you will see uh, the other you will see install then you click on your install to install the app but i have installed the app so i'm going to open the app right away now i have opened this app as you can see this is the app so what do i do i click on profile at the end at the extreme end by your right i click on profile okay this is my account now if you don't have account with luno you're going to sign up with them you're going to sign up with luno so let me sign out and show you how to sign up with luno i'm signing out right away now when you come to luno let me go to home When you come to Luno and you have not really uh, signed up with them, you click on wallets. You can see wallets below. Then you click on sign, get started, not sign in. When you click on get started, it will ask you to sign up. You can see sign up. You click on sign up. Then you can fill in your email and password. And after filling in your email and password, you click on sign up again. Then any other, any other thing that it asks you to put in, kindly put in. You can either put in your BVN or you use your, your ID card number to sign up also. They ask this information. Note that this is, this is a genuine ins financial institution. So they are recognized and you have no issues. You have no worries giving them your information. They need your real information because when you're doing your withdrawal from your trust wallet app, you will still need to use them to withdraw to your bank account. So they need your real information. And here, what are we trying to do? We are trying to fund our trust wallet app through our bank account, our country's bank account, like Nigeria. For my bank account, I'm going to be funding my Ethereum wallet. Some people say you cannot withdraw from this platform. is a very big lie because you can still use this platform, this Luno.com, to withdraw from your trust wallet app to your Nigerian bank account. The same way you, for you can fund your trust wallet app through your nigerian bank account from luno you can still withdraw so that is it it's very very straightforward so now i'm a member so i don't need to sign up but if you're not a member kindly sign up provide the information they need from you then you sign up now i'm going back to to sign in i mean because i'm a member so sign in i give them my email so these are the list of my email i give them my email i click on next in that acts of my password and i provide my password which i've already put there then i click on next he's not asking me of a part a four way four four numbers that they have sent to me via my email so i'm going to pick these numbers and use it to log in here so i've gotten the number from my email they sent it to my email is another security measure then i put the number then is trying to say create your login pin i'm trying to create my login pin now this is my login pin i've created my login pin now this is my wallet i mean in my luna wallet now so i'm going to fund this my luna wallet so that i can send money from here i can convert it to ethereum and send to my uh, ethereum wallet i'm funding from my bank account so i go to wallets as you can see down wallets i click on wallet now there are three wallets in this luno app 
I have my Bitcoin wallet, I have my Ethereum wallet, I have my Nigerian Naira wallet. So which one am I funding now? I'm funding my Nigerian Naira wallet. Now, while you're funding your Nigerian Naira wallet, how much do you need that is that we help you to sign up? That will be enough to sign up on Trasage on your Trust Wallet app. Now, con con comparing fees, putting into consideration fees that will be charged at the end of the day, you have to put a round figure of 8,000 Naira in your mind to fund your Trust Wallet app. So what do we do? I click on deposit. I want to deposit 8,000 Naira into this my Luno wallet so that I can convert it to Ethereum and send it to my Trust Wallet app for my Forsage registration. So what option do I use? I use, if I have a debit card or credit card, I use the second option. If you, if you don't have a debit card or credit card, you can use the bank transfer. Here you put the amount of money you want to fund. Then after putting, they will ask you to put your bank, uh, your, your, your account number and uh, they will take you to your bank portal. But I always prefer the card. If you have a Visa card or MasterCard, use the second option because that is what I normally use. So I can put 8,000 Naira here. That's what I want to fund and convert and send to my Trust Wallet app. I click on next. Now it's going to charge me 126 Naira for this particular deposit. So I click on continue to pay you. Now it's opening the portal where I can put in my, my details, my card details. And this, this site is secured so I have no... I have no uh, uh, issues or fears putting in my card details. I've been using them for years now. So let me put in my card details. As you can see, uh, you, you are required to put in your card number. After your card number, your card holder's name, all these information are in your card. Expiry date in month and in year. Then you now click on, uh, you now click on pay 8,000 Naira. So I'll quickly do that. Okay, I've been able to put in my card details. It requires me to put in my CVV number. Your CVV number is the number behind your card, that three-digit number behind your card. After putting it, you can now click on pay 8,000 at the green button to proceed. Okay, I've done that. I've put in my card details and I've clicked on uh, pay 8,000. So it's trying to generate uh, where I will get my token sent to my phone so that i can be able to authorize this transaction now as you can see it says generate tokens i'm generating soft token because the token will be sent to my phone so it's on it's on soft token option don't use hardware token option except you have the hardware token but if you have if if, if you if the if bank if your bank always sends your transaction codes to your phone use soft token option so it is the, the dot is already on soft token option. So you can even change if you want to change by clicking on top soft token, it has changed. So click on generate token. I've clicked on generate token and they're about to send me my token to my phone. The number I'm supposed to use to authorize this transaction. Now I have received the code on my phone and I'm going to put the code 098089 so that is it 098089 that is what was sent to me i submit i click on submit don't save don't save your passwords there is no need just close it good it has been approved your transaction was successful then i click on continue now it has already made the payment mission success click on done now as you can see on my naira wallet if i click on my naira you can see 7874 they charged me for fees that's why you're seeing this 7874 now the next thing i need to do is to now convert this money to ethereum so watch how i do this i'm converting this money to ethereum so i clicked on my wallet again I click on wallet again now I click on ETH. You can see the Ethereum there. I click on ETH. I click on buy. You can see buy, sell, send, receive. I click on buy. Now I'm using my Naira wallet to make this purchase of Ethereum. I click on Nigerian Naira wallet. 
then I'm using the whole money in my wallet to do this. That's the whole Naira I have here to do this purchase. So I don't need to type in the Naira. I just click on Max. I can see 7,874 there. I click Next. Now I'm trying to make this purchase. And I confirm the purchase. It's trying to ask me of my transaction PIN. So I put in my transaction PIN which I created. Done. So I've been able to purchase this Ethereum. So you can see the money has moved to my Ethereum uh, a wallet. You can see it. Now if you check what I was saying, they have still charged some fees for this purchase. So I now have 0.072 Ethereum. So what do I do next? I now send this Ethereum to my Trust Wallet app. I now have successfully converted my Naira to Ethereum for my registration. So I now forward it from this uh, Luno uh, uh, wallet to my Trust Wallet app. And how do I do it? I am going to copy the wallet address. Remember I told you I made a video about how you can get your wallet address when you when I was doing the video on creating a wallet on Trust Wallet. So I'm going to my Trust Wallet straight to get the address for this uh, a transfer. So to the, to my Trust Wallet. So let me quickly go to my Trust Wallet app. That's where I'm heading to. This is my Trust Wallet. I've already created the app. So you create the app first. Then you now go and do the other one. So now I click on Ethereum. Now I'm, re I'm receiving. So I click on Receive. This is my wallet address, which is also my wallet account number. I click on Copy. I've copied it. So I go back to my Luno where i'm going to now send this ethereum so this is my send button i click on send and i paste the address i copied i paste the address long press on it the, the paste will come out if you long press on this particular box the paste will come out then i paste and i click on next i want to send the whole ethereum i converted i click on max to send the whole ethereum I click on next. I can we can put anything here, maybe anything you like, pay anything just uh, for formalities. Then I click on next. Now I I I is now is now prompting me to confirm. Now as you're doing it, if 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 you get to this point and you confirm and and Luno says they are going to release your sending uh, option by twenty four hours, just relax. The next twenty four hours they will do it. But if they don't not did not did not ask you of such, just confirm. And uh, in the next, okay, this this to put my um to put my transaction pin. I've put my transaction pin, and now um. Say check your SMS. They are sending me an SMS that will help me to conf to finalize this transaction. So I'm going to check that SMS and use it to to authenticate this transaction. Now I've received this message on my phone. I quickly go to the message and uh, open the message. This is to authenticate my transaction. I click on the the the, the message and say open access i now open it it has now final finally authenticated my transaction i can now click on authorize authorize now i am authorizing the mission success got it so now i have sent this money to my trust wallet app let's go over to trust wallet app and see whether it is there as you can see this is my trust wallet app the money is already there, seventeen dollars. That is what I sent from my Luno to my Trust Wallet app. Now, as you can see it on this Trust Wallet app, this is how to send, transfer your money from your bank account down to Luno and down to Trust Wallet app for your Frosage registration. So, the next video, I'm going to be teaching us how to use this money here now to do your registrations proper. Thank you very much.